well, why call it an acid? It isn't one. Because James is telling us we're excreting a bunch of acid. No, we're not. The only things that have an effect on the acid level or the pH it's parsimoniously described as in any fluid pool anywhere in the universe at any time, there are only four control variables that can have an effect on the pH. No others, only four. And they are the temperature of the fluid, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide acting on that fluid at its surface, the net values in milliequivalents of all the strongly dissociated ions of all kinds, positive and negative, and the net milliequivalent value of the negative anions expressed on the surfaces of all the various proteins. Nothing else. Those are the four independent variables that control the pH of a biological aqueous solution. Should I ergo ignore those things entirely and pretend that they're not so? No, James, I should not be doing that. I should be telling people the truth. Again, so you've been publishing on something that you're calling low-grade acidosis. Are you going to define that for us, James? And if so, is it going to have anything to do with acid? Because acid cannot affect pH. Because acid wasn't one of those four things, was it? That I've just listed. Why is that, do you think, Richard? It's because, boys and girls, I make sure that what comes out of my mouth is correct before it comes out of my mouth and unassailable. Why do I do that? Because I spent 20 years in academia having to defend myself against much scarier characters in terms of their academic background, etc., than this clown here.